Every day, 1.8 billion photographs are shared in the digital world, each one capturing a moment and transforming it into a digital memory. But have you ever paused and thought about the process that takes place every time we snap a photo? If not, let's explore the science and art behind the camera lens and uncover the magic that transforms ordinary moments into extraordinary masterpieces. So let's get right into it. The basics, light, and how the first cameras work. The art of photography revolves around the behavior of light, which travels in straight lines and rebounds when it encounters an object, allowing us to perceive objects in a space. This concept was utilized in the earliest cameras, which consisted of a room with a small aperture, allowing light to project an inverted image onto the opposite wall. The addition of light-sensitive materials added to the back of the room enabled a chemical reaction, creating a tangible image. As technology progressed, early cameras suffered from limitations, such as blurry images and lengthy capture times. The camera lens emerged as the solution to these issues, redirecting light rays and converging them onto a single point. The lens's focusing system fine-tunes the distance between the glass and the sensor, ensuring a sharp representation of the subject. Distance plays a pivotal role in zooming in and out, and altering the focal length determines how close or distant objects appear. For example, a 300mm focal length lens transforms into a telephoto lens, skillfully bringing far-off scenes within arm's reach. How does a camera work? Film and digital sensors. Photography is the art of capturing light and transforming it into tangible images. In the past, photographers were like alchemists who used to work in dark rooms using light-sensitive materials to create images. When the camera lens exposed the film to light, it undertook a transformative journey. The process of developing the film involved chemical baths, which were similar to ancient rituals, and helped in creating the final image. Thus, photography was not just a means of recording reality, but also a way of weaving magic through the manipulation of light and chemicals. With the advancement in technology, digital sensors have emerged as the new standard for photography. These sensors, which resemble solar panels, consist of millions of red, green, and blue pixels known as megapixels. Every pixel plays a crucial role in capturing even the slightest detail by converting light into energy. The camera's computer, on the other hand, acts as a conductor by interpreting the energy generated by each pixel to create a symphony of colors and shapes. While manufacturers often advertise a camera's megapixels, the size of the sensor determines its overall performance. Larger sensors, similar to sponges, absorb more light, making them ideal for low-light scenarios. In contrast, a small sensor with too many megapixels results in degraded image quality since each pixel becomes too tiny to capture sufficient light. Therefore, it's important to consider the size of the sensor when selecting a camera for better image quality. Putting it into practice, how to use a camera. After knowing about sensors, let's explore practical photography. A camera is more than a mere device. It's a storyteller, capturing unique narratives with each click. Composition, the silent maestro, dictates what is included and what remains in the shadows. Even the slightest changes in perspective, movement within a scene, or a simple act of adjusting one's position can have a profound impact on the final outcome of the photograph. Lenses are an essential part of photography. They help to create a composition that is aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Zoom lenses, which have the ability to adjust their focal length, enable photographers to control the distance between the camera and the subject. This, in turn, allows them to eliminate unwanted distractions and create a more refined frame. Another crucial aspect of photography is exposure. It plays the role of a conductor, balancing the amount of light that enters the camera and determining the level of brightness and darkness in the resulting image. Pressing the button, shutter release and beyond. Capturing a perfect photograph is a combination of artistry and technical finesse. It involves intricate composition and exposure techniques, followed by the final, crucial step of pressing the shutter release button. However, this step is not as straightforward as it may seem. A partial press of the button is necessary to achieve sharp and crystal clear focus. It transforms the viewfinder or LCD screen into a canvas, enabling the photographer to focus on the subject. The full press captures the moment forever, freezing time and preserving the essence of the scene. With instant gratification available in digital photography, the LCD screen reveals the newly captured image, allowing for immediate review and adjustment. 
And now, before we wrap up this captivating voyage through the lens, here's a nugget of photographic lore that might just spark your curiosity. Did you know the unsung genius behind the inception of the camera? The visionary who set the stage for the freeze-framing wonders we explore today. Meet Joseph Nicefort Niepce, a French inventor and pioneer in photography. In the early 19th century, Niepce achieved a milestone by capturing the world's first photograph using a process he named heliography. This black and white image, known as View from the Window at Les Grasses, was taken in 1826 or 1827 immortalizing a scene from his estate. Thank you for diving into the captivating universe of photography with us today. If this exploration through the lens stirred your curiosity, hit that like button, subscribe to Physics Daily until our next rendezvous. Keep clicking, keep freezing those moments, and may your memories be as vivid as the pixels composing them.